we are in Hartford Residential Center. We have uh, two programs. We have a pre-judicated and adjudicated program. The average age is probably around 15 years old. Right now we have 13 boys and five girls. They're really kids with high needs. They're coming in, they have significant mental health issues, dysfunctional family issues, educational issues. Historically, the judicial branch has been responsible for pretrial. 2018, the legislature had um, passed a law previous year that gave the responsibility for post-conviction residential treatment to the judicial branch. So by July 1st of 2018, we had to adapt from providing purely pretrial services to you know, developing a program that was completely different than pretrial services. At the same time, we didn't have a physical location um, to provide that service. The legislature had anticipated that we'd be able to contract for these programs, but you know, contracting is not something that happens within a year. And so ultimately we decided that we would use the resources that we have. A unit in each facility would be reserved for that post-adjudication um, secure treatment population. And from there, we looked at how are we going to build a program around their needs. We ultimately called the program Regions. July 1st, 2018 came, we had, you know, youth on that day who needed to be in secure treatment. Essentially, you're sort of, you know, flying a plane while you're still building it. We looked at our PBS data and saw that over half of our staff feared for their safety. When you do a adjudicated program, you're dealing with kids with a lot harsher crimes. They were really feeling that their risk of harm um, was going to be at an all-time high. Staff were still reeling from layoffs that had occurred in 2016. So there was this in-between period of, you know, staff being, you know, demoralized in a large sense. But ultimately that, you know, situation really came to a head in 2017 because the union um, knew that this legislation change was going to happen. The judicial branch was able to make a commitment that we would continuously recruit staff. So I think that went a long way in showing the staff they had behind them an agency that valued um, what they had been going through. So we really increased our, our juvenile detention officer ratios. We added a shift manager position. They also allowed us to hire what we call per diem um, detention officers to be able to fill in the gaps in the schedule. The hiring process was nonstop. Getting the buy-in took a lot of just teaching training, supporting the staff. We had trauma-based trainings, uh, DBT came in. We work with the dialectical behavioral therapy model. They were getting the tools that they needed to, to, to feel comfortable dealing with a kid longer. Things started to calm down. We made um, you know, the safety committee, which I ran once a week. We were grabbing you know, staff members from all departments to get their feedback on what improvements need to be done. And uh, they could bring any issue up during that point. So it makes everybody feel like, okay, I, I have a voice. Staff input is critical. We want to make sure that staff are feeling supported. I think that anytime we don't feel safe or comfortable, kids know that, they feel that. But when their environment feels structured, they feel safe, it trickles down to the way that they interact with everybody. These juveniles, they know. If you feel safe, the juveniles feel safe. REGION stands for Re-Entry, Goal-Orientated, Individualized Opportunity to Nurture Success. There's a very strong therapy component to the program, a very strong emphasis on schooling. So we have a yoga instructor, we have an art teacher, a music teacher, also mindfulness pieces to that with the kids. With REGIONS, that was expanded to also include Tai Chi um, program as well. We have a vocational specialist at central office working on vocational services with the boys as well as other educational opportunities for them. PBS has really been an asset. Hartford really has taken the data to heart. They've really committed to creating an environment where staff really do feel safe, right, and that they do have a voice. We get to collect the data, see where we're lacking, or we need to work on. It's been a wonderful for me 
because um, things are just moving in a better way. Winning the PBS Barbara Allen Hagen Award is a huge accomplishment. It was, it was so exciting. I definitely credit the people that day in, day in out work on the floor with these kids. To be recognized for the hard work that every single person in this building does, it, it's huge. I think today we're in a much better place with respect to how we care for our kids in our residential centers. Our greatest incidents are, are on our pretrial units. They're not on our secure treatment unit. Right, that unit has the least amount of issues. That unit runs the, um, the most smoothly. Less hands-on, uh, less room confinement, less incident writing, period. They're just committed to doing the right thing for the right reasons for these kids. Uh, get these kids to a better place so that when they uh, leave the branch, they're in a position to, to prosper and excel out in the community.